Hi guys and welcome back. So yes, I'm very excited to get into this topic because listen, I feel very motivated when you guys leave comments on my videos, especially comments that go against the grain, that challenge me to think outside the box, that just rub me in a certain kind of way. I like those kind of comments, you know, as long as they're respectful. I love it, okay? So I am on my lunch break, so I have to be very mindful of the time even though I'm working from home. So I got a comment. I think it came in today, actually, earlier today. Early, early today. On one of the videos I made on black female dom and male submission. I'm trying, and I made this video actually last year, November. It seems like it's so long ago. We're already in February 2021, but I made this video back in 2020 okay and you guys know i'm a proud advocate and practitioner of bdsm um i identify myself as a submissive woman a baby girl but that's a different topic but i mean it's related right so i do want to get into this video because I was motivated by this comment. I'm going to read you guys the comment. Now, you can go and watch the video on your own time. It's called Black Female Dom and Male Submission. But I see that white men seem to be really obsessed with being dominated by black women. I'm trying to figure out why. What is it, white men, that just tickles your fancy about being dominated by black women? I mean, I get it. Black women are... Dominant. I consider myself to be dominant, right? Now, I will say naturally dominant because I think it's just in our genetics. It's in our genes. Just black people, period. We just, we're dominant, right? We're, we're strong mentally, emotionally, physically, despite the agenda that's being carried out in this society that we live in, the system of <laughs> white supremacy, or as my old friend used to say, the system of what it is, because <laughs> nobody wants to say that white people are supreme, but it is what it is. So, okay, so one person commented and said, I find submissive women very sexy, which of course we are to a naturally dominant man. But then I think where I run into the most problems is with submissive men. Most men, I think, are submissive in our society, unfortunately. And I know I just said that black men are naturally dominant, but socially, we have been, they have been socialized to be feminine effeminate and submissive that's just what it is a black man has trouble rising up the economic socio-political ladder when he exudes dominant traits so that's why you see a lot of watered down black men in our society it's just it is what it is you know you see a lot of the feminized feminine Black men in our society, because that they learn that this is how I level up. I will be more accepted and less threatening. This is not something that I made up. This is in the research, you guys. Study sociology. This is in the research, okay? So don't be mad at me. And I realize a lot of you guys, I be talking about stuff, right? That is just is made aware in research. This is just it is what it is. But because I'm speaking on it, y'all want to sit up here and come at me a certain kind of way. It's just like, listen, I didn't create this world. I'm speaking on the realities that exist, the conditions that exist in our society, right? And it is simply what it is. But of course, I do have my opinion. And yes, I do prefer a dominant man. And like I said, the issues that I come across is coming across men who just are not dominant. You're going to run into problems with a woman like me. It's just not dominant. So this man says, I find submissive women very sexy. Thank you. <laughs> then somebody had to reply. And this person, this is the reason why I'm making this video, y'all. Because I read this comment. I'm like, hold up. Hold up, okay? Hold all the way up. So this person says, in reply... To Jay, who says, I find some Miss Woman very sexy. The leader, whoever this person is, I don't know if it's a man or a woman, but he says, well, in our society, most women are socialized to take on a more passive and subordinate role. What society do you live in? Because in the 
America, women are treated equal, if not better, and have more privileges than men. So what, I mean, granted, yeah, I mean, you do some research, they say that men make more on the dollar than women. But women are rising, y'all. I don't know about that. Women are rising in American society. And as far as having to be socialized to take a more of the submissive, I don't see that necessarily because, granted, when women have access to the same amount of resources as men, economic resources, political resources, like we are rising up. So that's going to affect how men and women relate to each other. There's no way that the, the, the dynamic between a man and a woman is going to remain the same as it was back in the 1940s as it is today when you are seeing that women are afforded the same opportunities as men. Things will change. They have changed. But yeah, there are certain social issues that still do negatively impact women. So he goes to say, for example, think slut shaming, which serves to keep ladies sexually passive. But women, we're going to get ours regardless. Regardless of the slut shaming, yeah you, yeah, you got that going on. I give it to him for speaking that and speaking out against that, right? Because, yes, the whole idea that a man can go out and sleep with as many women as he wants, but when a woman does it, she's frowned upon. But women do it anyway. <laughs> so it doesn't matter. Like, you think we really care, I think. I think this is what the issue is. I think men think women care too much. Y'all, in y'all mind, right, y'all have this delusion or an illusion somehow in y'all mind that y'all think women really care about what the fuck y'all think. No, if we cared that much, it would shape our behavior. We don't give a damn. Women are still out here getting their needs met. And yes, we're talking about sexual needs met, regardless of what men think about that, okay? We are entitled. We don't need permission from a man to go and do what we feel is best for us to do. So he says, which serves to keep ladies sexually passive, the whole slut shaming idea. He says, that's why submissive ladies are a dime a dozen. No, submissive ladies are not a dime a dozen. So he's trying to paint this idea that, oh, submissive women, because he knows that I identify myself as submissive. He's like, oh, you guys are easy to come by. It's the dominant women that are hard to... That's bullshit. Most women are dominant. Most When you look at the dynamic between a man and a woman in most relationships, the woman is equal to the man. Women are paying for meals. Women are paying 50% towards the bills. You can see that power dynamic played out, not just only in the finances, but in their relationship to each other. You can clearly see that in most relationships, women wear the pants. Men ain't even opening the door for women anymore. Women are making their own decisions, independent of a man even being married to a man. Women are just becoming more dominant in their own lives, whether they're with a man or with, whether they're single. So I'm like, what world do you live in? To say that most women are submissive in our society and they come a dime a dozen. No, we are a rarity. It's actually the other way around. So he goes to say, yeah, they come a dime a dozen, very easily found. So it's refreshing to see doms, although the lady in the video, which he's talking about myself, doesn't seem to prefer that role, which he's referring to as a submissive role. No, I do not prefer to be in a submissive. I mean, I know I do not prefer to be in the dominant role. I prefer to be in the submissive role. And he's basically trying to paint this idea that, okay, he prefers a dominant woman. Good for you. But I think it's something to be said about why do men prefer a dominant woman? Like that to me, that's a turn off. Why do you want a woman to take control? which I've seen a lot lately. I've seen a lot. It's been so ever clear to see that men just like to sit back. If they can have it their way, they will allow the woman to pay for the first date, pay 50% or more towards the bills if they're cohabitating together. They ain't opening no doors. All the, 
all of the things that have been traditionally known to be considered to be dominant or to be consistent with being a man, just men aren't doing, okay? <laughs> men are doing less and less and less and less, which means they are taking on a more of a submissive role. But he, for him to say sadly at the end, it's just like, That's like manipulation. Like, it's not going to change who I am. I feel like naturally women are submissive. It's in our nature. You can say, okay, we're socialized. Socialized to be feminine. Perhaps. But I think in more recent times, I would say that we are more socialized to be gender equivalent to a man, right? This whole thing about equal rights for women, same thing within race. So I don't see where all of this is coming from. And if you are watching this, Elita, whether you're male or female, it doesn't even matter. But it sounds like you're speaking from a male's perspective. What is it? Why do, why? Because it's not just this person, right? Like, I've been seeing this, like, with white men just comment my videos, like, oh, thinking I'm dominant, right? Because I think they kind of get a dominant energy or vibe when they watch my videos, like, oh, she's dominant. And they probably imagine me dominating them sexually. And I've made videos about, oh, is it, I just wanted to get you guys' opinion. I made this back in, when I was in L.A. I said, is it necessarily gay or homosexual if a heterosexual man desires his woman to pleasure him annually? Is that gay? To put her, her for her to put on a strap on and to pleasure him annually. Is that considered to be gay if he's a heterosexual man and he's with his woman and he's asked his woman to do that? And then you got these men that fantasize about women, black women, just dominating them and doing that to them. And I think that speaks more to yourself as an individual. Is something going on within you. I'm not saying it's right or wrong, but it's important to look within thyself to see what is it about yourself as a man that craves this dominant, masculine energy from a woman. Because think when you think about it, in our society, it's okay right to be heterosexual it's not necessarily okay to be homosexual it's, that's still frowned upon even though people are living their best lives being homosexual and identifying themselves with the lgbtq community it's still considered to be taboo and some people still very reserved about their sexuality if they identify themselves as homosexual but it's safe for them for a man to be attracted to a dominant woman and to participate in so-called so homosexual activities. That's safe. But it's not so safe for that same man to involve himself with another man. So I'm wondering, I mean, if that's what you desire, <laughs> if you desire dominance, that dominant energy, why not just get it from the real source? Why get it from a woman? But then it, it could be also like a, a mystique to that, though, when you think about it. For a man to crave that, which is typically from, like, emitted from a man, right? Dominance is usually a, a, a male characteristic. For him to crave that from a woman, it does, it does kind of create this mystique. It creates this... Like, what's the word for it? You know, it creates this, like, living life on the edge. Like, doing something that isn't typically, like, normal, right? But it's just like, you want something that is atypical. You want something that is unusual from this woman that isn't typically seen in women, Right? Even though more and more women are becoming more dominant. I mean, you, I can just look at the dynamic. You can pick out, pinpoint any relationship. 
and you see that that woman is wearing the pants in that relationship. Or it could be more of a egalitarian role shared in that relationship. But sometimes you can never tell like who is the lead because they're both equal to each other. The man is cooking and cleaning the house and changing the diapers. The woman is out working, you know, paying the bills. She's sometimes mowing the grass. Like, so they have broken away from the traditional gender roles, which you see in a lot of relationships. But don't come on my video, because I had to say, <laughs> listen, I got, don't come on my video. Like, you want to talk about slut shaming, but I can say that you are shaming me for being a submissive. To say, oh, so sad to see that the woman in the video, being myself, doesn't prefer to be a dom. Why is that so sad? When I derive my power from submitting to a man. It's powerful, because I've talked about this before in other videos. For me, it's a very powerful experience for me to submit to a man because it's freeing. I feel very free. And when I feel free, I feel empowered. It's, when I say it's freeing, it's just like, it's a release. Given much of my life, I am in the dominant role. I take care of myself. I'm an independent woman. Not to say I'm so independent that I don't need a man. So I'm not talking about that level of independence, so to speak. But no, I've been on my own since the age of 18, taking care of myself. I don't have any kids. I'm accountable to me and to me only. And given my professional role in society, especially training to become a doctor, yes, there are times, many times where I would just prefer just to kind of sit back. Allow a man, just allow a man to be a man, to guide, you know, to just do what's natural. Just for me to just fall within my natural role as a woman, the natural paradigm of a dom and a submissive. I know what it feels like. I've actually been in a relationship like that with my previous mentor. I had a mentor back in Atlanta, Georgia. He was a master, a BDSM master. And I was his mentee. And I remember that dynamic where I just, I really felt empowered. I felt seen. I felt valued. You know, because I realized that he dominated almost every aspect of my existence, my being. But I gave him permission to, right? So it's not so that, oh, I give up all power in a sense. So I think sometimes people get dominance and submission kind of um, misinterpreted, misconstrued, where they assume that, you know, the submissive just relinquishes all of her power and she just is powerless. She doesn't have a choice in the matter. And, and no, she chooses to do that. And she is giving her power. She's giving this power, which means she can take it back. Anything that a person can give you can be taken away from you. And to know that another individual is responsible for my well-being, that to me is reassuring. That to me shows a degree of love and care like no other. And... To know that that person is my man and is my husband, like it just takes it to a whole nother level, which a lot of people just can't wrap their minds around. And that's fine. It's not meant for you to understand, right? I'm not in the business of trying to get people to accept me or to understand me or to appreciate. Like it does. No, I feel like it's great when other people can relate and understand, but that's not my goal necessarily. And having these conversations, you know, if you get it, you get it. You don't, you don't. Hi, Danielle. When are you visiting Jacksonville again? This is Tika. I'm a massage therapist in Duval that wants to take care of you so you can tell people about me. Oh, okay. Well, let me know your website or your contact information. 
I'll check you out. I'm going to be in Jacksonville probably uh, this year sometime. But I find it to be, like to me, I think it's a, it's gotten to the point where it's like I'm getting annoyed. Right? Now, it's one thing for white men who want to be submissive to come on my video and to express their perspective, their preference for being dominated by a black woman, right? But don't try to impose that shit onto me because I am not going to change. I am who I am. It is not how I was socialized. In your mind, you think that's how I... No, this is just me. This is my archetype. <laughs> this is what I was born to be, you know? And I, I realize that. I think a lot of people are fighting against nature, and so in their minds, they think that biologically and naturally, they're supposed to be opposite of what they present themselves as, right? And then they have this internal struggle they're fighting against, men wanting to be submissive. But I think the whole power play, like that whole dom-sub, is a very interesting seesaw dynamic, right? That you can play with in a relationship and see how it goes, Right? Men and women switch roles all the time in a relationship. So a man may naturally be dominant and a woman could be naturally submissive and they take turns kind of switching. That's a, that's a whole thing. And I may play around. I've, I've played around sometimes like with my ex, right? But it's just playing. Like I, I play because I, sometimes I like it's like this. It's like the kid. It's like the baby girl in me likes to kind of like push up against his masculinity, right? And women do it all the time. We tease men. We just to see like how far we can go. Almost like a little child. That's why I say it's like the baby girl in me. It's like a little child, kind of testing the limits of their parent just to see like how far they can go. But does that mean that I'm a a dom or I want to be dom. No, it's just me teasing. It's just me testing the limits. So I want to know men, like especially white men. I'm speaking to the white men because a lot of y'all have come on my videos and this is like a recurring theme where y'all be talking about you want to be dominated by a black woman and somehow you think that I am the one. I have no interest and I'm wondering like where is this coming from? Maybe perhaps like you can relate to myself and you have been a dominant man in society like your role in society has been dominant for so long that you would like to have a break and you would like someone to tell you what to do and give you discipline spankings and put on a strap on and fuck you up the ass <laughs> and it's interesting that they want to choose a black woman to do that and some some actually you know choose the real the real deal they go ahead and choose the black man I'm like, if you're going to go for that, right, if your idea is being dominated, just why not go for the real thing? Get the black, the real, true, dominant black man. But even that is a whole nother type of discussion, though. Because when you think about it, yes, I know at the beginning of this video I said that black men are naturally dominant. But then again, it makes you wonder, like, in society, though, are they dominant? Are black men dominant in our society? No. Unfortunately, they're not. They're at the bottom of the totem pole. They don't own or control most of the re most of the resources. Who owns and controls most of the resources? White men. And Asians are taking over too. So that's a whole nother thing, and we wonder why a lot of black women are going to white men. But for me, nah, that ain't my thing. Yeah, white men, white men can be powerful economically, politically, but it's just a different dynamic one-on-one, -on -one, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, what he represents, right, the white man, what he represents is, like, you know, white supremacy, right? He represents his the dominant group in our society. So it may be like, oh, that could be attractive. That's sexy, right, because his race is ruling. But then on another token, it's just like, Hmm, is it really? Ugh, is it really that attractive when it's just one on one? It's just me and him, me and the white guy, per se. Per se, is that really like when it's just me and him in a room together, right? He's on his own. How attractive is he? 
when it's just one on one. It's just like, is he really packing down there? Like the energy speaks for itself. That's what I'm saying, one on one. When you put a black woman in a room with a white man, that come on, the energy. The energy. Sometimes it's hard to pick up on energy across this media platform here. But in person, being in the same room with me in person is a different energy because your your soul, your spirit is going to perceive my spirit, right? And they communicate to each other. And you know, like a person's spirit knows if the other person's spirit is more dominant, right? It's just, you just know. It's just an unspoken energy that you feel. You feel it. And that's how people know who to fuck with and who not to fuck with. Because <laughs> it, your soul going to tell you, your spirit going to tell you, like, mm -mm. no, 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 no. Right? So, yes, I just, I, I like that dominant man. Just to wrap this video up because I just had to come to you guys and share that. But I am going to come back because I just saw another comment. As I was looking for that video, I was, it took me a while to find a video that I was referencing with this comment, right? And I came across another video, another comment on a different video somebody left. And, dude, let me listen. Let me tell y'all, like, why, why is it? Like... I laugh because it's funny when men's ego get fractured, yo. And it's okay. Like, I'm not the one to fracture a man's ego. What's funny is that a man who want to walk around like he's so tough, right, and all in his ego, just admit it, right? Just admit, like, okay, you're, you're in, you feel inferior. You know what I'm saying? Just admit you got a little penis. You got a small dick. You know what I'm saying? Just just admit that. That ain't got nothing to do with me, though. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to save this for the next video. I might come right back, depending on the time. I might come right back to address, uh, to address this comment that was left. Because I'm just like, dial it back. Why are you getting mad at me? Because I'm just, I come on here and I say the obvious, yo. My words, because I think, I think through what I'm going to say before I say it. Know that I'm a I'm an introvert at heart, okay? So if you know anything about introverts, we don't really speak that much. We keep a lot of things to ourselves and we think a lot. So just know if I'm coming to you guys, I've put a lot of thought into what I'm going to say. And typically what I'm saying is just what's already made aware out in our society. You know, I may add my, you know, own personal spin to it, but... It's just the truth of the matter. <laughs> so, I'm going to come back and talk about this comment that was left on a different video. And I, like I said, I love it when you guys leave organic, 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 <laughs> organic thoughts on my videos. Just be very authentic with yourself. Speak the truth because it reveals a lot. But this comment I'm going to read you guys in my next video just goes to show, dude, he, you can tell he's in failure. He got, like, he got low self-esteem. Like, to not understand and see that what I'm saying is just my opinion. But he got so triggered, yo. It hurt. Like, listen. Because I just read it before I came. I went live, y'all. And he's he feels like, like his ego is crushed. And, you know, like... When weak men, who basically their whole identity is wrapped around their ego in a bad way, right? And it's just tied to the, like, like the moment they have a little fracture against their ego, oh, they go ham. But I'm going to come back. <laughs> Share your comments below. Let me know what you guys think about this. White men. I am not the one to fuck your ass, okay? I'm not the one. To give you discipline spankings. Go find you another person. I have no interest in that whatsoever. I have white men leaving me comments on my videos. Messaging me saying, oh, you can have access to my bank account. Like they want me to abuse them financially. I get it. That's a whole fetish within BDSM. I get it, okay? I'm just not the one. Sorry. <laughs> Love you guys.